Okay, now that we have cross bracing for post already put in, let's uh, cross brace those uh, three beams over here. First thing we want to do is uh, I'm gonna try some uh, cross bracing that I've seen on uh, on Dietrich's tutorial. So I'm gonna put a middle post in here first. I called this one the vertical tie. Right, had it preset for that. It's uh, the same width and height of uh, of the other post, so it's a 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Then you want it to flush front, and of course, this we'll leave that as a choice because we'll, uh, we're gonna want it to uh, center it, so we can either leave it as a choice or AA. It doesn't really matter. I just leave it as a choice. You want to connect all. And the end end conditions want to be a uh, stop tens, each one of them uh, 40 millimeters. So let's hit single. Now hit on the mouse, scroll down, hit the uh, scroll down button down, uh, and then let's do point plus point divided by two because we want to center it by between those two points. So point one, point two. The next thing. Next thing we have to do is uh, specify the how high it goes. Let's hit that now. If we right click, it's going to allow us to browse between the positioning points. That's where we made that choice. Let's keep it centered and confirm with the left mouse button. Okay, once we have that vertical post in here, I'm going to place some ties going this way and this way. So let's uh, let's try four separate ties first, and then we'll work with uh, middle conditions. Let's do a two-point tie. So again, we're using a 671, which is a wall diagonal stiffener, keeping the length as one, the width and the height is 10 centimeters. It flushes from all the all the uh, settings are still the same as we were using for those. And now, again, the positioning point depends on uh, which direction we're going and from what point are we starting. So we'll start on the bottom left going up. And that's... That's going to be points one, points two and three on the side. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Let's hit single point direction distance we got hit right arrow key on the keyboard point zero 0.05 we're still offsetting it 5 centimeters okay and now we want it to go to the middle of that beam and be offset 10 centimeters down so it sort of meets below the middle point of that middle post so I'm gonna hit the scroll again and do a reference point and then in order to uh, reference from center down I'm going to hit the scroll yet again do line divided by 2 select this line so that gives me the middle of that line and now it's sort of the, the reference point function activates and now we want to do relative x y and then negative Point 0.1 which is 10 centimeters going down so the first one is in now and up repeat the same for the rest of them um, this one's going to be 1, 4 point direction distance right arrow key point zero five. Hit enter the reference point. Now instead of doing line divided by two like we did before, since we already have this being placed in, we cannot just select the entire line and allow us to do that. Let's do point plus point divided by two. And select this and this one. Hit relative x1. Now we're going in a positive direction, so there's no minus here. Hit OK. And this place is the same here. Now on the right hand side, 
for the top one, the selections are going to be to the side. Point direction distance. Hit left arrow key on the keyboard. Type in 0 0.05. Enter. Now we can do a reference point. Line divided by 2. And we're going to put one up. So these line up perfectly. Okay, and finally we're gonna do I'm oh, sorry, let's see. BM two points. And this one's gonna be one for side single. One zero five enter. Now the reference point, and remember point plus point divided by 2. Select this point, this point, all the x, y, and we're going negative point 0.1 this time. So here are our beams connected. Uh, right now they all have stop tenant connections at the end. So there's two options, uh, there's a couple options that we can do. Uh, I decided to do a uh, shoulder tenon shoulder tenon join we can go to uh, processes uh, step joints shoulder tenon join will be step joints settings for that is uh, it's a half form use hidden for properties the depth is 0 0.025 then 10 and a height will be 0.4 and 0.4 for the width. Hit OK. And now it's important to uh, first select a piece that's going to be connected to another piece. So this is our main piece and we're connecting this. So we select this one first, double click on it, confirm. Let's do that for all of them. Let's go to our decan mode. Again, 91 is for arbitrary for panning around. Turn this thing around. Zoom in and you can actually see what kind of uh, cross bracing we have. Okay, the next video is going to show a different type of connection on uh, on the bay next to it.